When a geeky teenager develops the ability to hack into any electronic device, he uses his powers to seek justice for his friend. In his room, teenager Tom is busy playing a game when he suddenly hears disturbing sounds outside his window. To drown out the noise, Tom puts his headphones on, focusing his attention on his laptop. The following morning, Tom walks to school while listening to music using an outdated phone. Suddenly, his friend Danny joins him and hands him a second-hand smartphone that he asks him to buy. In class, a bored Tom glances at his friend and crush Lucy when their teacher suddenly asks him a question. However, the distracted teen doesn't answer, prompting his classmates to laugh at him. Later, Danny advises Tom to man up and ask Lucy out. However, their conversation is interrupted when Lucy approaches them, inviting Tom to help her with their schoolwork at her flat later that day. Suddenly, school bully Eugene passes by and mocks Tom for being awkward around girls. When he arrives home, Tom talks to his novelist grandma, Nan, sharing how nervous he is to see Lucy and contemplating whether he should go now or later. When his grandma reads her salacious novel aloud, the annoyed Tom takes the hint and decides to finally go to his crush's flat. Upon reaching Lucy's place, he notices that her front door is open, prompting him to head inside. As he walks down the hall, he shockingly sees Lucy's injured brother, Ben, lying on the living room floor. Before reaching his friend's room, Tom encounters a masked goon, who's filming something in the room using his smartphone. Suddenly, another one appears and threatens to shoot him with his handgun, prompting the teenager to rush outside. As the four bad guys chase him, Tom immediately calls the emergency hotline. However, one of them shoots him in the head, leaving him unconscious on the ground. After 10 days in a coma, Tom awakens in a hospital, where Dr. Bale explains that a fragment of his smartphone embedded in his brain as a result of the incident. Before discharging him, the doctor advises him to immediately immediately report if anything unusual happens. On their way home, Nan comforts Tom when he expresses that he should have done more to help Lucy, whom he learned was released from the same hospital a week before he woke up. While Nan scolds the driver for judgingly staring at her grandson, Tom suddenly sees a display of digital codes on the taxi meter. The following day, Tom awakens, confused to see digital information in his field of vision. When Nan asks about his condition, he claims he's getting better and then removes the bandage from his head revealing his scar. When Nan suggests seeing Lucy, Tom hesitates, claiming that his friend doesn't want to see him because he chose to run away when she was in danger. To talk some sense into her grandson, Nan claims that it would be worse if he continues to run away now that his traumatized friend needs someone by her side. Realizing that grandma is right, Tom heads out and buys flowers before going to Lucy's flat. After leaving the store, he suddenly hears a loud phone transmission sound, followed by a stranger's phone conversation. On his way to Lucy's floor, Tom shares the elevator with the school bullies, Eugene and Cass. Before the anxious teenager exits, Eugene insults him and sarcastically tells him to greet Lucy for them. Shortly after entering Lucy's flat, Tom greets Ben, who appears to have recovered from the assault. Suddenly, he surprisingly sees digital information coming from the modem on the side table. Afterward, Tom finally speaks with a tearful Lucy, who's still shaken from the incident. He apologizes for running away and then promises that the bad guy won't get away with what they did. After leaving Lucy's flat, Tom gets overwhelmed upon hearing overlapping transmission sounds, ringing phones, and people's conversations. When he gets home, Tom notices a hologram of codes and digital data coming out of his own gadgets, as if he's seeing the device's soul. Confused about what's happening to him, Tom opens his curtains, only to pass out from the sight of every digital information and transmission in the vicinity. Before he awakens the next morning, Tom dreams that you Eugene's iPhone was connected to the Wi-Fi modem in Lucy's flat at the time the incident occurred. When Tom leaves for school, Nan tries to stop him, pointing out that he needs to rest because of his injury. However, Tom insists on attending school because it's the day of his exam. After meeting Danny, Tom shares his suspicion that Eugene assaulted Lucy, but his best friend doesn't support it, claiming that the bully still knows his boundaries. On the bus, Tom sees what's happening on every stranger's smartphone. When Danny invites him to a party, Tom suddenly sees the display of the invitation details, but he lies, 
stating he isn't aware of it. Hearing this, Danny thinks that his friend wasn't invited because everyone thinks he's still in a coma. Before reaching school, he gets off the bus, reminding Tom to see him later at the party. In school, Tom witnesses Eugene transferring a video to Cass of how they took advantage of Lucy nights ago. An enraged Tom manipulates Eugene's device to overheat, prompting the bully to quickly drop it and get admonished by the teacher. Later, Tom attends the party and quietly recalls the footage to pick up clues about the other perpetrators. Upon closely observing the clothing and accessories of the masked men in the video, he identifies two perpetrators as Hazard and Ant, who were also present at the party. When he sees Eugene in the corner of the room, Tom approaches and angrily stares at him. Before a brawl ensues, Danny interrupts and takes his best friend outside, asking him to stop his accusations. However, Tom confronts Danny for defending the bully because he works with him selling illegal substances, but his best friend insists it's strictly business. Later that night, a concerned Tom drops by to see Lucy. While they converse on the balcony, Tom spots Eugene, Cass, Hazard, and Ant coming out of an alley. Sharing the sight, Lucy suddenly looks down, prompting Tom to comfort her. While the bullies play basketball, Eugene receives an anonymous text from Tom, stating that he'll be coming for him. That night, Tom takes his power to another level and studies how to hack smartphones. With this knowledge, he follows Cass and Eugene in the streets the next day, hacking into their phones. After completing the process, Tom continues to follow them to an alleyway, where he sees them transacting with Cuts, their boss. As they head back, Tom, who's hiding behind the trash bin, sends both the bullies anonymous messages to distract them, enabling him to escape. Afterward, Tom anonymously sends Lucy a message, telling her that he'll look out for her. That night, Tom hacks into the perpetrator's front cameras, allowing him to see what they're doing. After witnessing Cass pleasure himself, Tom messes with Eugene, Hazard, and Ant by controlling their light switches. He also releases random noises for them to hear, effectively scaring them. After the camera display shut down, a satisfied Tom chuckles, planning his next vengeful move. The following morning, Tom shows a video of Cass pleasuring himself on the school auditorium's projector, prompting the embarrassed teen to walk out after everyone laughs at him. Later, Tom visits Lucy, who's still afraid to go to school. He shares the story of the funny incident in the auditorium, making her laugh. However, when she asks about how it happened, he lies, pretending he has nothing to do with it. While Tom picks a song to listen to, Lucy messages her mystery texter, completely oblivious to the fact that he's standing right in front of her. While responding to her, Tom discovers that someone else instructed the gang to attack her because her brother wouldn't join their gang. After Lucy admits that he doesn't know who the mastermind is, she asks the mystery texter's name, prompting Tom to choose the alias iBoy. Then, Tom asks about Lucy's love life, but the teen reveals that she doesn't like anyone romantically. Then, Tom breaks off from his alternate identity and invites Lucy to grab dinner. At home, Tom hears Nan's phone conversation with a debt collector, discovering that she needs to pay 600 pounds. To help Nan, Tom uses his powers to clear her debt instantly. After their friendly park date, Tom and Lucy are on their way back to the latter's flat when Eugene suddenly walks up to them, pretending to empathize with Lucy for what happened to her and Ben. Shortly after, Eugene and his gang confront Lucy, asking if she knows about the mystery texter who's been messing with them, which she nervously denies. Before Eugene corners Lucy, Tom intervenes and sends all the bullies an anonymous text, telling them that they've got the wrong guy. As the gang backs off, Tom and Lucy take the opportunity to leave. Later, Eugene and the gang steal a parked car on the street. Aware of the delinquent's behavior, Tom locks them in the car, turns on the engine, and hacks into the car's radio to confront them about the mastermind's identity. After the terrified cast reveals Cuts' name, Tom frees them from the burning car. Upon learning about the boss's identity, Tom researches everything about him and locates his flat, where his best friend friend Danny is. While Cuts relaxes in his living room, Tom turns on his television, displaying a video of someone urinating on his car, prompting the gang to go out and check it. Once the gang leaves, Tom enters the flat and trashes the place. Before leaving, he finds the bricks of illegal substances and takes them all, leaving Cuts and the rest surprised upon their return. Afterward, Tom spends time with Lucy, who discloses about a mysterious, idiotic guy who's been going after the local gang. Instead of looking at the guy as a savior, she admits that that she's not a fan of his aggressive ways. To defend himself, Tom implies that the guy is just making the world a better place. However, Lucy argues that there are other options instead of setting cars ablaze and getting into fights. Afterward, she changes the topic, asking him to accompany her to school on their exam day. Reflecting on what Lucy said, Tom decides to take another approach to seek revenge. He creates a website revealing himself as iBoy and his project of ridding the town of the gang. To execute his plan, he opens up Cuts' stash and 
distributes them into smaller plastic packets. Then, he plants the smiley face baggies onto Eugene, Hazard, and Anne's flats and anonymously contacts the police to arrest them. He excludes Cass from the arrest because he revealed Cuts' his identity. After the arrest, he uploads the footage on the internet for public viewing. Meanwhile, Cuts is surprised to find his ATM balance empty, unaware that Tom drained his bank account. The following morning, Nan confronts Tom about having a blade in his room, to which he lies and says he took it to reduce the sharp weapons on the street. However, the grandma worries, thinking that his grandson's good intentions will land him behind bars. On the rooftop, Cuts talks to his boss, Elman, about the three goons' sudden arrest. Tom listens to their conversation, prompting him to look up information about the boss, but he finds nothing useful. To figure out who's behind the arrests, Cuts orders his remaining men, including Cass and Danny, to help him gather every electronic device in the vicinity. After everyone leaves, Cuts asks Cass to stay, wondering why he was spared. Suspecting that he revealed his identity, Cuts tries to confront Cass, but the teen lies, hiding the truth that he gave iBoy his name. That night, the gang infiltrates every home, stealing any technological device they can find. At school, Tom answers his test, when he suddenly gets multiple notifications from angry citizens, accusing iBoy of stealing their devices. When he gets home, Tom discovers that even their electronic devices were stolen. To proceed with his mission, Tom hears Cuts and Elman's conversation, disclosing that they'll meet in the shipyard in a while for their illegal transaction. Before Tom leaves, Nan tries to stop him, asking him to disclose where he's going. However, the technopath points out that he's not a kid anymore, prompting her to later visit Danny, whom she asks to look out for Tom. Meanwhile, Lucy receives a message from iBoy, telling her that he'll fix everything. When she tells him to stop, iBoy asserts that he's doing this for her, to which she retorts that he's doing it for himself. That night, Tom rides his bike and follows Cuts' his smartphone location, only to find the device in the trash bin. As a way to figure out the man's relocation, he hacks into a helicopter to access an aerial view and locate Cuts' his car, which later leads him to a container depot. To acquire defensive skills, Tom studies martial arts by looking up digital information. After learning the body's weak points, he kicks his target on the back of his knee and strikes him in the face, effectively taking him down. Later, Tom finds a box filled with bricks of illegal substances and sets it ablaze. However, Cuts and the gang appear to beat him up, revealing that he's been framed all along. To escape, Tom releases a high-pitched sound, causing headaches to the delinquents. While walking home, Tom suddenly passes out due to his injuries. After seeing a distorted display of digital information, the following morning, Tom wakes up in an open field, unable to accompany Lucy to school like he promised. On Lucy's way to her flat, Tom shows up and apologizes for breaking his promise, but she dismisses him. As they walk to the open area, they shockingly see Cass's lifeless body hanging from the building. Later, Danny joins Tom on the rooftop and asks him what he's really up to, since he heard that he didn't take his exam. When Tom asks Danny who ended Cass's life, the latter suspects that it's iBoy's fault. As he sits alone, Tom hears overlapping voices of people accusing iBoy for Cass's tragic demise. Bothered, Tom visits Dr. Bale, asking him to remove the phone fragments stuck in his brain. However, the doctor explains that it's a risky procedure and won't do it even if he's offered a large sum of money. Later that night, Tom suddenly awakens after hearing a noise from the living room. When he goes out to check, Keon points a handgun at his temple. As he walks further, he finds Elman in the dining area. While Tom is held at gunpoint, Nan yells at Elman, prompting Cuts to knock her unconscious. Aware of the teen's power, Elman tries to get him on his side to help him make more money. However, when Tom refuses the offer, Elman kicks him, saying that he owes him a lot of money because he had to get Eugene, Hazard, and Ant out of prison. Later, Tom discovers that Elman ordered Eugene's gang to take Lucy hostage. To save his friend, the technopath taps into the phone in the warehouse and calls the emergency hotline. Following this, Elman demands Tom to do what he says. When the teen continues to refuse, the boss brings out Danny, who, turns out, was the one who suggested Tom's name in exchange for money. After forcefully putting money in Danny's mouth to display power over his men, Elman orders Tom to fill his bank account. Left with no choice, the teen follows his demand to ensure his friends and grandma's safety. Meanwhile, after hearing the sirens approaching, Eugene's gang takes Lucy to the back of the warehouse, covering her mouth to keep her quiet. As they hide from the police, Eugene receives a call from Cuts on Elman's order, prompting the delinquent to immediately turn it off so they won't get caught. After the police leave, the three teens celebrate, giving Lucy the chance to grab their weapon. Meanwhile, Elman takes Tom to the warehouse because Eugene didn't answer Cuts' call. As Lucy threatens her perpetrators with a handgun, she yells at them, disappointed at what they did to her even though they 
all grew up together. After ordering them to get on their knees, she attempts to flee the warehouse. However, she sees Elman entering with his gang and Tom. Through Elman's instruction, Eugene is able to retrieve his handgun from Lucy and then restrains her. Once everything's in his control, Elman orders Tom to continue filling up his bank account. When Tom starts to struggle with Elman's request, he gives him the option to walk away before making his phone explode. While Elman runs to escape, Tom does the same thing to the other goon smartphones to take them all down, helping Lucy break free. She grabs the gun from Eugene and knocks him down. Seconds later, Tom rushes outside, where Elman hits him with a pole. When he tries to give him a headache using a screeching noise, Elman headbutts the teen, knocking him back down. Just when Elman is about to end Tom's life, Lucy shoots, shifting the boss's attention to her. As he approaches her, the armed teen is able to shoot his shoulder, but the boss grabs her by the shirt and throws her to the ground. Suddenly, a glitching Tom stands up to face Elman, emitting a powerful force field that finally ends the man's life. The following day, Tom awakens in a hospital under Nan's care. After his recovery, he heads out to visit Lucy, but on his way there, an apologetic Danny reaches out to him, handing him Elman's money in exchange for his best friend's forgiveness. However, Tom declines Danny's peace offering, suggesting that he's only doing it because he's afraid of what he can do. He then points out that he never found out who the person filming Lucy's assault was, implying it was Danny. Finally, Tom meets Lucy on the building's rooftop for a picnic date. After sharing a romantic kiss, the couple admires the beautiful city skyline. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.